if you have seen this. If you have not, we're going to talk about this. There is something strange going on. So the cash app owner, founder, is murdered. And then this was announced. Now, remember, he was a part of crypto as well. They just announced that on that video. All of a sudden, the federal government, listen to this. This is coming from Say Cheese. I'm going to make this a little bit larger for you guys so you can see it because there we go. The U.S. Federal Reserve Banking System is launching its own cash app called FedNow. This happens after the founder of Cash App is murdered. Coincidence? Why is the Federal Reserve launching a Cash App? What, what is happening here? Let's go on. They're launching a Cash App called FedNow in July. This is a movement towards getting rid of physical money and having digital currency. There it is right there. You can look it up for yourself. Fed now, 24 seven instant payments. So this was sent my way. And I want you to hear this video clip here because this guy has a really interesting point in reference to this announcement. This July, so what is Fed now? Is it really a way for the federal government to control us? The short answer is yes, it is. Now for the long answer. Fed now is a new payment service that will allow money to be transferred instantly 24/7 365 days a year between banks, businesses and people. Sounds all good and dandy, right? Wrong. This is how FedNow is going to work. At least this is their plan for how it's going to work. All the banks and businesses are going to sign up for the new FedNow instant payment service. Americans like you and I have our money in those banks. So if you buy something on Amazon, the money's going to go from your bank account to a Fed credit account, then to Amazon. Here's the issue. That Fed credit account is where all of the money in the United States will be funneled through. And if every bank and every business uses the FedNow service, the federal government will know your every single move. You go to that's what it's about. They will be tracking your money. So they'll know what you're buying. They'll know if you're giving money to someone. Remember that announcement months ago that they were adding more IRS agents. They are trying to find more ways to control us. We are seriously heading towards 1984. They want to watch everything. What do you think this TikTok ban was all about? The Restrict Act. They want to watch you. They want to see what we're doing. They want to see what we're buying. And to that I say, I say to the U.S. federal government, get out of my pocket. Get out of our wallets, get out of our homes. There's no such thing as privacy in this country. You think things are private? It's not. Let's go on. Let's go back a little bit. Government will know your every single move. You go to the grocery store to buy milk, they'll know. You go to buy your girlfriend flowers, they'll know. Every single transaction that comes out of your bank account, they will know. Why is this bad? Well, to start, it's a complete invasion of our privacy. And more importantly, if the federal government doesn't like what- I just want to correct them there. We don't really have privacy. We really don't. That is actually an illusion. And I want to let you guys know, even some of you that have the Facebook accounts and you're like, my Facebook account is set to private and only people who are my friends can actually see what I say. No, nope, that's not true either. No one seeing my tweets because I took it down. Not true. We really do not have privacy. People, please understand this. We really do not have privacy in this country. 
Edward Snowden revealed that to all of us. You are being watched or tracked in some way, shape, or form if you have a smartphone. You're being tracked, whether you have the location icon on or not. It's one of the bad things about smartphones. They know what's happening. Why do you think you can have a conversation with your friend or your roommate? And the next thing you know, you see an ad for that product on your phone. That is not a coincidence. Not a coincidence. You will know. Why is this bad? Well, to start, it's a complete invasion of our privacy. And more importantly, if the federal government doesn't like what you're buying or where you're sending your money, they can shut you down. You go. They can shut you down. Now, why would they shut you down? What would they want to shut you down over? Gene, you must have been reading my mind. If you protest, they will block your access to your own money. Bingo. Ding, 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 ding. Right on the money. Just like Justin Trudeau tried to do with the Canadian truckers. Let's block their access to their own money. That can happen. What about something like mutual aid, right? So when we fundraise, we raise money for mutual aid. A lot of time this is done through apps like PayPal or Cash App. They can see that. This is why I tell people, be careful with your titles. Look at what just happened to Afeni. Afeni was trying to raise money so that she can go do mutual aid in Cuba. Cash App removed her account. They got rid of it. Because Cuba. That's right. Brandy, block donations too. 100%. This is what they can do. That's why. That's why they're getting involved here. Would you use an app called Fed now? I wouldn't. Happening all over. If you're trying to raise money for some type of mutual aid, I highly recommend you don't put that in the title on Cash App or PayPal. Don't put it in the title. Don't put the country in the title. Call it something else. Call it Sabby's Funds. Whatever you want to call it. But don't call it that. This is the reason why, why do you guys think even sometimes Rome, when he does tour for the poor, PayPal will hold his funds. This has been going on for quite a while. So I don't know, but that's the thing about these apps. So now you have it where the federal government is trying to track your money, your spending. Who are you sending money to? What if you're sending money to someone that lives in Russia? They can block that. They can block it and call you a Putin puppet. This is where this is going. Now, I want to share this as well, because I told you, I thought this was a little suspicious. The founder of Cash App was stabbed to death in San Francisco, according to reports. Right under this July. So what is right under this video? Right under the Fed now announcement. This is very strange. This person is saying the same thing. What about the Cash App founder that just got killed? Exactly. Exactly. Every, a lot of people are saying it. See, they just killed Cash App, dude. He ain't even go through his autopsy yet. It's wicked out here. Couldn't wait to announce it. Couldn't wait. Share this information 
with people. Don't let your loved ones and your friends fall for this. Let them know what's happening out here in these streets. Because what's happening out here in these streets is more important than what's happening on Netflix. It's more important than what's happening on Hulu. It's more important than keeping up with the Kardashians. You see my point? While they have people distracted with nonsense, look at what the federal government is doing behind your back. That's more important. That's more important than the drama of the Friends cast. They have lots of ways to keep us distracted. We cannot continue to fall for it. We cannot. That's actually more important than what's happening with Donald Trump too, to be honest with you. That is more important because I care more about the federal government tracking my spending than I do about whether or not Donald Trump is having his heyday in court. We discuss it because it's news. How many people talking about what I just showed you? These things are important. How many people, how many people covering that JP Morgan and the co-founder of Google just received a subpoena in reference to Jeffrey Epstein's Island. How many people covering? I tell you, I look on YouTube because before I covered that story, I only found one video and it wasn't even independent media, believe it or not. These are the things we need to be talking about. The things that mainstream media is quiet about. Now, I watched CNN mention Jamie Dimon multiple times the past couple of weeks about the future of banking. Didn't see them mention that, though. What I just told you. This guy got a subpoena out here in reference to Jeffrey Epstein. They don't even tell you about it. They tell you about the future of banking from Jamie Dimon. 